My name is Wendy Hathaway, and I am an Inside Sales Account Manager with Emerson. I will be reviewing the diagnostic options on Rosemount Magnetic Flow Meter Transmitters. I will be showing you on an 8712 wall mount transmitter, but all of our transmitters have the same diagnostic options. Every Rosemount Magnetic Flow Meter comes standard with basic diagnostics. These include empty pipe, reverse flow, electrode saturation, and grounding and wiring fault detection. There are additional licensable diagnostic codes that are available for purchase. They are the DA1 and DA2 option codes. The DA1 option code is the advanced diagnostic suite, which includes high process noise detection and coded electro detection. You can access these diagnostics through the diagnostic button on the upper right corner of the local operator interface. The high process noise diagnostic has two read only parameters the 5 Hz signal-to-noise ratio, and the 37 Hz signal-to-noise ratio. These measure the signal strength relative to the amount of process noise. If you are running the coils at 5 Hz, then the diagnostic will look at the 5 Hz signal-to-noise ratio, and look at the 37 Hz signal-to-noise ratio if you are running at 37 Hz. If the signal-to-noise ratio remains below 25 for one minute, the high process noise alert message will display on the screen. The coded electrode detection diagnostic provides a means of monitoring insulating coating buildup on the electrodes. Buildup over time on the electrodes can compromise the flow measurement. There are two limits that need to be set, electrode coating limit one and electrode coating limit two. The default values for this are 1,000 kiloohm and 2,000 kiloohm respectively. However, these should be customized for each application to be the most effective. When limit one is reached, it indicates that coating is starting to occur. And when limit two is reached, it indicates that flow measurement is compromised and the meter should be cleaned immediately. The DA2 option code is the Smart Meter Verification Suite, which enables you to verify that your flow meter is within calibration without removing the sensor from the process. The first step is to establish a sensor baseline signature of the parameters that make up the strength of the magnetic field. The sensor signature includes electrode resistance, coil resistance, and coil induction. After the baseline signature is established, you can run the smart meter verification test and compare the values that are measured to the original baseline signature. If these parameters have not changed, it indicates that the meter is still within calibration. Best practice is to establish your baseline signature with no flow conditions and a full pipe. If you are unable to get a no flow condition, you do have the option to set the test criteria for a full pipe flowing condition. To set the baseline signature, push the meter verify button. Then scroll down to test criteria and select your conditions. Then push the E button. Next, select Sensor Baseline. Scroll down and select Reset Baseline. Push the E button to initiate the Sensor Baseline. It will take about three to five minutes to complete the Sensor Baseline. The Sensor Baseline is complete when the timer is no longer visible on the screen. Now you have successfully established your sensor baseline on your Rosemount magnetic flow meter. After you establish your baseline, run the smart meter verification and it will compare the current values to the baseline. To run smart meter verification, push the meter verify button and select run meter verification. If these values haven't changed, then you know that your meter is still within calibration. This completes the overview of our diagnostic packages.